Hey friends, we talked about NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs. Now it's time to talk about the CPU department of AMD because there's a lot of weird information going on there, especially with regards to things such as Threadripper third generation because it looks like AMD has completely dropped it from their roadmap. It's just not there anymore. And that could be because they wanna give focus to Ryzen 3000 or it could be because Threadripper third generation isn't going to be ready whatsoever at the time that they were expecting to launch it, which most likely would have part, been part of Computex where they announced both Ryzen 3000 as well as Threadripper third generation, or it could just be a clerical error where they didn't have Threadripper third generation put on here. Who knows? What you see is the roadmap showing that third, genera third gen Ryzen Threadripper CPUs was on the right, and now it ends with third gen Ryzen desktop processors. Nothing on Threadripper. This again could be due to a whole host of reasons. It could, one of them is just the conspiracy theory that AMD is not producing what they want to to actually have the higher end HEDT chips. Or it could just be that, that it wasn't the purpose of this like client lineup that they were doing. And so they left it off for this one, but Threadripper third gen is still on track, okay? So who knows, 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 I don't know. But you know what I do know is that apparently retailers have been listing the upcoming third generation of Ryzen on their websites. We've got a place in Vietnam dropping some chips. We've got a place in Turkey dropping some chips and they look to be a one for one replica of the adored TV leak. So no new information that kind of shows that we're actually gonna be getting them just kind of the same old, same old information that shows nothing new or fancy. Anyways, also one of the biggest, uh, you know, reasons to question the fact that these are real listings is the fact that they both have different box art for the Ryzen 9 processor. Ryzen 9, in case you were wondering, doesn't exist yet. AMD has never announced the fact that we were getting a Ryzen 9 chip. So they both have different artistic interpretations of how the 9 is supposed to look. The Ryzen 9 box on one of the websites looks like a normal 9. The other one has like an artistic little shadow going on there. And it's, it's just not the same thing. And I doubt AMD He's producing different box art numbers for, for different regions. So I'm gonna call this one uh, probably not actually happening. They're just trying to get in on the hype. And then we've also got information out from ASRock updating their BIOS to support third gen Ryzen processors except for it's not the ones that you think. It's actually only for the next generation of APUs. So ASRock getting in on the BIOS updating game, but not in the way that we really want to. But one of the things that did also come out is the leak of the fact that the 300GE and the 320GE have now leaked online. And this is on top of the 3200G APU that has already leaked as well. These are likely going to be based on Zen Plus, not Zen 2. So you're not really getting a whole lot of new architecture there. You're not getting much stronger performance. It's just gonna be basically what we've seen already on the small APUs. So that's a whole lot of news wrapped into one. We got Threadripper disappearing from AMD's roadmap. We've got Ryzen, the new Ryzen 3000 series being on sale, but not really because people don't know how to Photoshop consistently because they all have a different artistic style of how they want numbers to be represented. And then ASRock updating their motherboards to support Ryzen 3000, but only in the APU format. So that's the end of the Ryzen news for today. Let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comments. You still keen for Ryzen 3000? Do you think the sales are legitimate? How would you Photoshop a nine onto a Ryzen box? Let me know down in the comments down below. Hit the like button. If you enjoyed this video, get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our hot news. Hot news it, because hot news right now is not on the main channel, it's just here on the second channel. So you just you just hit the subscribe and you watch these videos. You hear me? Okay, I'm Brett with the UFD, the hot new buy.